Hey there guys, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my review of Crystal Palace 2, Arsenal 2. It's hard not to feel disappointed after that, given that we were 10 minutes away from clinching three points in a, in a very difficult away game where I think a lot of teams are going to struggle this season. It really is a bitter pill to swallow um, that we haven't made it 12 wins in a row. It's really, really disappointing, as I say. But I think the thing to take away from today's game is not to be too upset about the final result. Yes, it's it's not what we wanted and you would expect on paper Arsenal to go away to a team like Crystal Palace and pick up all three points. Um, it's a game that, given the rich vein of form we're in, you would expect us to win. And, uh, I mean, it was always going to be difficult going into this match. It's our third game in the space of six days and they haven't exactly been easy games either. Leicester City sporting away and then away from home against a really, really uh, intense side such as Crystal Palace. It's never an easy place to go to. I know they haven't scored there so far this season apart from today, but it's definitely not an easy ground to go to. And as I say, big teams will go there and they will struggle. So it's um, yeah, it's, it's been a busy week for Arsenal. And for us to have a little bit of a lapse in concentration, I don't think is particularly should be too unexpected um, of course you you want us to do our best and you want to see the team be a side such as Crystal Palace but we're still in a very healthy position um, which is I think the main thing to take away from today we're still four points off top and you know I'm not really trying to get drawn into the our Arsenal potential title candidates um, but you know we're still in a very strong position we're still unbeaten which I think is a great thing to say at this point in the season I definitely have taken that if you'd have said that to me at the start of the season that we'd be going 12 games unbeaten um, going into November so I'm really pleased on that front um, I mean the performance today was poor I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat the way Arsenal played today I thought we were pretty dreadful particularly in that first half and even in the second half where things have picked up for us in the past it wasn't really that amazing. Um, Mirza Ozil wasn't particularly um, particularly great today. He didn't replicate the performance he put in against Leicester. Lacazette didn't show up today. Awobi didn't show up. There were clear signs of fatigue throughout the team. We saw Jacker style left back, which uh, you know I think he did fine there, considering he's a he's a central midfielder. He did brilliantly at left back. Um, unfortunate on the penalty, which I'll get onto a little bit later. But it was uh, it, it was a very strong Arsenal team. We saw Guendouzi come back in, who. I really thought struggled against Kuwate. I didn't don't think he had a great game. So it was brilliant against Sporting, but it was just a little bit out of his depth tonight. And it's a shame that we had to break up the partnership that we've got going on in the middle with Torreira and Jack. They seem to be working really well together and there was just really not enough protection in the midfield. Palace were getting through our midfield really, really easily, which was quite worrying. Um, there wasn't enough strength, enough steel in the midfield. And then up top, there just wasn't the intensity that we've seen from Arsenal in the past couple of games. Lacazette, as I say, didn't really turn up today. Um, Awobi, etc. I mean, I don't need to repeat myself. You know the players that didn't turn up today. It was very, very forlorn from Arsenal, which is a real shame. Um, the game didn't start particularly well, uh, with Palace getting getting a penalty at the start at the end of that first half. Uh, awful time to concede, and it was coming. Zaha had hit the post. We were definitely the side that uh, that weren't looking particularly great in the game, um, and it was a great penalty by Milojovic uh, and Mustafi rash in the challenge. We know he has these lapses in concentration, but I thought for the most part he won a lot of things in the air today. I don't think he was particularly dreadful, but it's just a moment like that which has cost us in the match. Um, but as I say, Palace were really threatening our goal and probably deservedly went into half time. With, uh, with a 1-0 lead to their name. Going out into that second half, brilliant, brilliant response from Arsenal. Fantastic goal from Granit Xhaka. Really, really good free kick. Um, and it's great to see that we're actually scoring from free kicks this season, which is something that we certainly weren't doing. Um, well, very, very, we were very rarely scoring from free kicks under Arsene Wenger, so it's great to see that we've got a real specialist in Xhaka, and he really does seem to be confident in taking these free kicks. Um, and then not long after that, we made it 2-1 through uh, Aubameyang, who's now made it nine goals in the Premier League, which is sensational um, which uh, I'm, I'm really pleased to see him performing so well so far this season he's looking like a real real talent um, and I'm just so delighted that we've got such a poacher in the team the one thing I would say is he doesn't really have the work rate of someone like Danny Welbeck um, he, he, he is quite quiet in games but he does turn up and he does score goals which is vital which I think is maybe why he's been coming off the bench towards the end of games where teams are tiring um, I would like to see him run a bit more at teams. I think given he's got so much pace and so much technical ability, it'd be great to see him just run at size because I think that would really frighten the life out of fullbacks whether he's starting on the wing or if he's coming up against centre-halves in a more forward role. Um, but, I mean, it was it was a great... Yeah, well, it wasn't a great goal, I was going to say it was, but it was a handball from Lacazette, so the goal shouldn't have stood. Um, and then Aubameyang, just by a millimetre, got it across the line. Unfortunately, the lead didn't last uh, particularly long with um, Palace scoring 10 minutes from time. 
Again, another penalty. And it's, uh, I mean, it's tough to call this one because Jacker pulls out his leg um, and Zaha, he, he dives. Um, let's not beat around the bush. He did dive. But even if he'd have stayed on his feet and he'd have run, he's still going to go over Jacker's outstretched leg. So, um, you know, there was probably it was inevitable that a penalty was going to be given, uh, essentially, whether he dived or not. Um, but it was, again, another great penalty by Milohojevic. 2-2. Fair result in the end, I have to say. We uh, we were clinical when we needed to be, but we only had a couple of shots on target. We looked really tired at times. Uh, and Palace probably will come out of the game feeling like they should have won. They certainly had more opportunities to win the game than we did. Um, so it's quite fortunate that we've actually got a point, which I think is a lot more than we deserved in this match. But the only thing we can do now is uh, get a great win against Blackpool. I know it's the Carabao Cup and not a lot of rivals will be on that game, but we've got the Carabao Cup. We've got an opportunity, thankfully, before the game against Liverpool to put this Palace game out of our minds very quickly, get a convincing win at home. If we could really smash them 5-6-0, I mean, I'm, I don't want to be overly ambitious, but if we could get a really resounding, confidence-boosting win heading into the game against Liverpool next week, um, then I, I think that will work wonders for us. I do want to see rotation. I do want to see the team uh, refreshed ahead of that game against Liverpool. If we've got a fresh team going into that game, then I think you'll see improved performances from Iwobi, Lacazette, all these players who haven't had to travel to Portugal just a couple of days ago. So, yeah, um, I'm still confident ahead of Liverpool and um, I'm really looking forward to the game against Blackpool in midweek. And let's get a win there and then let's take it into the game against Liverpool. And, um, you know keep this unbeaten run going anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it subscribe to afc game by game if you are new to the channel and uh, as always i'll be speaking to you very very soon see you later guys